Evening, folks. Welcome back. I'm doing a brief video by my standards. I'm reading the Inverness Oran, and it's the most recent issue I have. It's from last Wednesday, the 29th day of the month of March. And you know the expression, Cape Breton gets everything. They're wonderful people. Gotta love Cape Bretoners. They're fantastic people. If there's finer people somewhere, I haven't met them yet. Anyway, they take the, the wonderful Inverness Oran. Okay, Inverness Oran newspaper. And there's an article in it. They always have one wonderful articles on people. And they take, and it's uh, Cape Breton. The dateline is every Wednesday. It's a weekly paper in Inverness Oran. It's a 47 years of serving Inverness County and the Cape Bretoners and right, readers all around the country and world for that matter. They, there's a number of countries in the world throughout the United States and Canada. It goes. Okay. And then again, Childhood Memories, the heritage, of, the heritage of Inverness County, and it's on page four of this past week, the current issue, because okay, Bretners get it on Wednesday, us mainlanders get it on Thursday day later. And it's a wonderful gentleman, Hugh Campbell of East Lake Ainsley, probably in his late 80s, early 90s, and damn close to 100. Hugh Campbell, can you see him good? Spry-looking gentleman. Anyway, I love this comment. Okay, this is Darlene Fraser's article. Hugh's father did not have a car, and their house did not have electricity or indoor plumbing. You did not know there was a depression. Now, he was, he was going to school in the 1930s, so he had to be born in the late 20s. So, well, the guy's about 95, mid-90s, 95, 95 years old or so. So again, Hugh's father, this gentleman, Hugh Campbell, you Campbell's father did not have a car, and our house did not have electricity nor indoor plumbing. You did not know there was depression because no one talked about it or complained. And I underlined that because no one talked about it or complained. Isn't that wonderful? And I take it says I go back to the front. We are grateful to readers or aunt always enjoy a good personal story of our fellow Cape Bretoners. Here's the interview I did with Hugh Campbell, who graciously agreed to share some of his memories. You, Thomas Campbell, better known as UET, UT, grew up in East Lake Ainsley, beautiful Lake Ainsley in the, in the heart of, between Victoria, and, well, actually it's written in Inverness County, on the west side of the beautiful island, beautiful island of Cape Breton. Anyway, he, uh, son of the late Edward Ann Campbell, and uh, excuse me, Edward Allen Campbell, I stand corrected, Edward Allen Campbell, and Margaret Alina Nee Campbell, and brother of Kathy McLean, and brother-in-law D.J. McLean. As a young lad, you attended the Trout River School, which is where Alan J. McHacken, Honorable Saintly Alan J. McHacken, to say, ah, uh, oh, used to say, all's well, all's well with Angus L, all the way with Alan J. He was a wonderful gentleman. Anyway, he's up in heaven with God and the saints and the angels now. So anyway, they take in. As a young lad, you attended the Trout River School, a one-room schoolhouse that had no power and an outside toilet. His first teacher was Marguerite McKay, and there were numerous teachers over the years, including his Aunt Margaret and his father Edward and his uncle Eddie. So a well-educated family in rural Cape Breton, the frozen lake, the viewed lake in the summer. And it take a sketch of the winter in East Lake Ainsley by Barry Fraser. And so it's taken that I love that quote. I love that quote. Get my glasses back on here. I love that quote. He didn't know there was depression because they, nobody told him and no one complained. Isn't that wonderful? With that, I wish you all the best. God bless. And subscribe to this fine publication. Now, you don't have to be Cape Breton to subscribe. I'd be gladly mail it to you. It's called the Inverness Oran. Inverness, I-N-V-E-R-S-S, -S, Oran, O-R-A-N. Always lots of interesting stories in the people of Cape Breton and, and beyond. Thank you very much. Good night. And again, God bless. And a happy Easter, a happy, holy, peaceful Easter week to you all. Thank you.